South Africa is welcoming some good news with its water crisis. We've told you how Cape Town's water supply was set to run out as early as this month because of a crippling drought. But thanks to extreme conservation, the so-called day zero of no water has been pushed back to 2019. Global water shortages are still a concern. A recent UN report predicts more than 5 billion people, about two thirds of the world's population, could suffer water scarcity by 2050. Jamie Yukis visited one company in Arizona with a possible solution that makes drinkable water out of air. Most people get their water from thousands of it's miles well. away. Exactly. You get it from right there. Yeah, it's cool. Into the house. Exactly. For the past year, Phoenix homeowner Nick Robbins has been getting all of his drinking water from an unlikely source, these panels on his roof. I kind of want to try it. Yeah, sure, of course. Okay. Yeah. It comes out of his refrigerator spigot, just like tap water, but it starts up here with these. They look like typical solar panels, but they're called source hydro panels, and they actually create water out of air. So you have 20 solar panels up on the roof. Yep. Cody Friesen is the founder and CEO of Zero Mass Water, an Arizona startup that built the source system. Underneath here are a set of materials that are absorbing water from the atmosphere. Sunlight goes into this part, and that's actually driving that process of taking the water vapor back out of those materials. It condenses out naturally. And so then it goes into that line, yep. and then down, and then, down. And then we can exactly. drink it. This is air made into water. You got it. The biggest problem facing humanity is drinking water. If we can solve that problem, we fundamentally change the world. So this is the map of where you're at? Exactly. At about $4,000 for a two-panel set, Friesen has already sold more than 1,000 systems in 10 countries. Each one can produce about 20 16-ounce bottles of water per day. You guys are based in Scottsdale, Arizona. Yep. The desert. Yep. If you can make water from the air in Arizona passively, you can do it anywhere. They've already helped out in some of the world's current water crises, from hurricane-ravaged Puerto Rico to a girls' orphanage for Syrian war refugees in Lebanon. These are young ladies who have lost their families, their homes, their country, and otherwise would be consuming water that um, would make them sick. And we were able to make it so that they have perfect water. At least that piece of their life was better. The question is, is it scalable to a larger community or even an entire city? Retired NASA climatologist Bill Patzert sees promise in the technology, but he has some reservations. Of course, the next step will be to see how economical it is on a large scale so that we can use it not only for a single home, but for entire communities. Is this really the solution? You're not getting a ton of water out of these panels. So each panel, I agree, makes a, an amount of water for a basically a family of four. But you can aggregate those panels together to create big supplies of water where that's necessary. For example, in one acre, we can do about 5,000 liters a day, so pretty big supply. Like if Cape Town called and said, we want every single person in Cape Town to have this installed at their house, would you be able to even do that at this point? The rate limiting step would be the docks in Cape Town, not us, period. For now, Friesen's hope is people will use his source water as a substitute for the 400 billion liters of bottled water sold each year around the world. When you're drinking from source, you know exactly where it came from. You know exactly that it's perfect. You know that it's right there. It came from this panel. Right here. After that, he seems confident the sky's the limit. For CBS This Morning, Jamie Yukis, Scottsdale, Arizona. Thanks, Jamie. Amazing. Anyone who's read Dune recognizes that technology from Arrakis.